Hi everyone, it's the older sister of the Jag family. Today I am making a video about the drawing process of three realistic eyes. So before we start the video, make sure to subscribe, like and share this video and comment. This really makes us feel so good and it really would just make our day so much brighter and would support us so much just by clicking a button. So please do that and thank you so much for watching. Anyways, let's get into the video. So this video is actually created based off of a tutorial I found on Douyin, a, uh, the Chinese TikTok. And first I start off with a sketch and then I use the airbrush to start blocking in the colors and rendering. This piece, I can't really remember what brushes I used, but I'm pretty sure I used mainly Procreate's uh, original brushes. I also used a lot of the soft airbrush, as you can see for the eyeshadow, because it really creates a realistic eyeshadow effect without really blending too much. So now I continue to render the uh, first eye, which really took probably the most amount of time. And I just kind of follow the tutorial on how to draw the eye, which I will try to link in the description below. Honestly, I think my favorite part of drawing this entire eye was the iris. So you might see later on um, that I struggle a bit, a lot more actually with the other two eyes. Maybe because I didn't find it as much of an uh, enjoyable process because I think drawing the eye is um, the drawing the iris of the eye is my favorite part of drawing the eye. I think I really struggle with the eyelashes of the eye. Uh, I don't know why, but I just always struggle with it, especially with the last two eyes. Uh, I think I really didn't do very well with the eyelashes, so I will continue trying to improve with that. I don't know why, but I made all three of the eyes like really red, but I guess it's because all three of the eyes are like crying. It's almost as if it's like steps of crying kind of, I guess. Like the first eye is like open and then the second eye is like the tear goes down a bit more and then the third eye is like even more and it's just like closing your eyes while crying, I guess. Hopefully I managed to make all three eyes seem super sad. <laughs> Since I had to realistically draw three eyes, this obviously took a long time. But since I actually drew this around a couple months ago, maybe like half a year ago, I think I could do a better job if I were to redo this again today, which I'm really proud of how much I am progressing as an artist. I actually spend like half an hour or an hour or even more maybe just drawing and redrawing and erasing and redrawing the eyelashes over and over again because I'm just not happy with how they turned it out. So I just keep on redrawing it, which really frustrates me because I actually take a break. I started this piece around in August, I think. And then I took a long break in between, like it was just halfway done and just sitting there. And then I completed it like a couple months later, I don't remember. But this piece definitely took a long time in real time, but like drawing time wise took like around 8 hours maybe. So some tips for drawing eyes that I really learned and it's definitely one of the most useful tips I've learned is that there is blue in like the eyes. I think you might be able to see in like the iris but there is like blue in like a bit of the reflection and in like the whites of the eyes a little bit. When you're drawing the shadows of the eye, and I know this isn't a very good example because the eye is like mainly red, but when you're drawing the shadows of, in, of, of the eye, it can't be just plain gray. It has to have a sort of tint, maybe a bluish tint or whatever. It has to be, uh, and that goes for, for the same for the whites of the eye. It has to have a tint of color and not just be plain white or else it'll look kind of creepy, unless that's what you're looking for. 
anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching again and bye!